Hello children. Today in our today session we are going to learn about pronouns in sentences. What are pronouns? Now pronouns are words that replace nouns in sentences. Let's look at this with an example. The boy is reading. What is the boy doing? The boy is reading. Boy is a noun. It's a naming word. We can replace it with a pronoun. He is reading. So I replace the noun boy with he. He is a pronoun. Let's look at another example. Sara is eating. Sara is eating. Sara is a proper noun. It's a name of a person. So it's a noun. She is eating. So I replaced the word, the name Sara, the noun Sara with she. She is a pronoun. So we have many pronouns in English language. Now to understand pronouns and why they are used, let's listen to a story together. Jim and Sara are going to the zoo. Jim and Sara are excited to see animals. Jim and Sara hop on a bus to go to the zoo. Soon, Jim and Sara reach the zoo. The zoo is buzzing with people. Jim stands in the queue to buy tickets to enter the zoo. Jim also buys some popcorn. Sara buys bananas to feed the monkeys. Sara also buys some juice. Jim and Sara are all set to visit the zoo. First, they visit monkeys. Monkeys are jumping all around. Sara feeds the monkeys with bananas. Sara is happy. Next, Jim and Sara visit the lion's cage. The lion seems hungry. The zookeeper throws some fresh meat for the lion. The lion feeds on the meat and then sleeps. Jim and Sara see many more animals. Jim and Sara have had a good day at the zoo. Now, let's listen to the story again. We are going to replace the nouns with pronouns. Jim and Sara are going to the zoo. They are excited to see animals. They hop onto a bus. Soon, they reach the zoo. The zoo is buzzing with people. Jim stands in the queue to buy tickets. He also buys some popcorn. Sara buys bananas to feed monkeys. She also buys some juice. They are all set to visit the zoo. First, they visit the monkey's cage. Monkeys are jumping all around. Sara feeds them with bananas. She is very happy. Next, they visit the lion's cage. He seems to be hungry. The zookeeper throws some fresh meat for the lion. He feeds on the meat and then he sleeps. Jim and Sara see many more animals. They have had a good day at the zoo. Now, when you listen to the story the first time, the nouns, the naming words in the story were being repeated again and again and again. And that made the story sound a little boring. So we used pronouns to say the story again and that way the nouns were not being repeated and it sounded much more interesting. So pronouns are used to make the text sound, the story sound interesting. So now we are clear that pronouns are used instead of the nouns or the naming words. Now let's look at some other list of pronouns that are used in the language. So let's understand once again, pronouns. Pronouns are words used in place of nouns. They replace the nouns in sentences. Noun, which is the naming word like an animal, place, thing or person. Let's look at a list of pronouns that are used regularly in our conversations, in our daily conversations or while we read different texts. So some of the commonly used pronouns are you, we, us, him, 
her, it, them, this, that. Now let's see the usage of these pronouns that we just listed in different kinds of sentences. Let's look at the first pronoun, you. Did you water the plants? So you is the pronoun that's being highlighted and it's being used in a sentence. Did you water the plants? The next one is we. We baked a cake yesterday. We. Instead of saying the name of the people involved in baking the cake, we are saying we baked a cake yesterday. Us. The driver told us to hold the rail. Us. Us is yet another pronoun being used in the sentence. So instead of saying the driver told uh, Mr. A, Mr. B and Mr. C or told me, my friend, my friend's friend, we are saying the driver told us. We are replacing the names with us. The driver told us to hold the rail. Him. I gave him the book. I gave Tom the book, I gave him the book. So the noun, the name of the person is replaced with him. So him is the pronoun. Her and it. Sarah takes her bag to school. It is red in color. So instead of saying Sarah takes her bag to school, the bag is red in color. We replaced it with pronoun it. And instead of saying Sarah takes Sarah's bag to school, we say her bag. So her and it are highlighted in the sentences because they are being they are being used as pronouns replacing the nouns. Them. Another pronoun. Tom gave them a gift. Who did he give it to? He gave it to those people who have names which will be the nouns but we have replaced it with the pronoun them. Tom gave them a gift. This. This bag is torn. This bag is torn. Again, a pronoun. That. Pass me that shirt. Pass me that shirt. So, I hope you understood the concept of pronouns well. Let us practice this now further. 